Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Minnow Studio. Some of our customers, after watching the Emoto Guy and Dragon video, have asked what the best way is to trigger emotes in the Salsa and Randomize system. Obviously, adding movement to your character certainly brings it to life. And that's what Salsa with Randomize is all about, making that as easy as possible. So for this example, let's add a randomized 3D component. And then let's demonstrate how we can set up firing off some of these emotes. First, we're going to configure this randomized to use custom shapes only. Now, when the Emoto Guy and Dragon video was created, Salsa didn't have, well, randomize rather, didn't have the groups feature. But now it does, and that makes it a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and configure that. First off, we need to link our blend shape skin mesh render. Next, we can go ahead and auto link. Now, when we click this, if salsa were attached here, it would exclude the salsa shapes. That way they don't conflict. In this demo, we'll just add all of the shapes. So once they're imported, we'll go ahead and minimize that. And then we have this new groups feature. If we fold that out, we get add group. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, the first thing you want to do is give your group a name. We're going to go ahead and call this surprise. And this is case sensitive. And once we have our group created, we can go ahead and add shapes. Now for this shape, I'm going to go ahead and add seven. This is what I used when I originally did the video, seven different shapes. Now we need to set the range for each of these shapes. And this basically is just how much of the shape we want to apply. So for the first five, we're gonna make them 20 and then the last two, 30. We can test this to see what the shape looks like by clicking this preview button here. So now that we've created a group, how do we use this? Primarily this is a behind the scenes API call, but it's really not that difficult. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a script and we'll call this emotification. And we'll go ahead and edit this. Okay, now let's get rid of some of these things we don't need. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add a reference to randomize. And in awake, we're going to automatically grab reference to that because we're going to put this on the same component. And then we'll need a function to actually call to fire off our shape. It needs to be public. We're not going to get anything back from it. And we'll call it the same name that we're expecting. So, surprise. What we do want to feed it is a duration, how long we want the emote to last. And that's in seconds. And what we'll do is we'll use our randomized reference and we will set group. And this is where the exact case needs to be specified and our duration. And that's really all we need for our script. So let's go ahead and save that. And we'll go back to Unity. Looks like I have a error. Ah. Okay. So now we just need to come up with a way to fire off that method. And let me go ahead and turn this preview off. That really could be anything. It could be a button, a script, a cinematic sequencer app. It could be anything. But we're gonna, for this demonstration, we're going to at least show how to hook this up with uh, just a UI button. The methodology will be the same pretty much no matter what you use. You need to be able to call that function. So let's go ahead and add a button to our scene. And let's go ahead and call this surprise. And basically all we need to do is add an event. We'll drop our emoto guy in here and we'll grab the emotification and we'll call surprise. And we'll set it to last for three seconds. All right, and that's really all there is to it. So let's go ahead and run this. And when we click on the surprise button, he goes into surprise mode. Oh, we also have the uh, random feature turned on. So you may or may not want that. It's easy to turn on or off. Take this particular option here and turn it off. He was kind of overriding our surprise shape a little bit. Surprise. Three seconds, and he shuts off. 
Same thing could be done. We could set up another shape. I'll go ahead and set up a frown shape. Well, that's not the greatest frown, but it at least gets the point across. So let's go ahead and add another button. And now we need to edit our script to include that call. And we'll give that two seconds. Let's look at our canvas real quick and make sure that our buttons are organized correctly. Let's call this frown. There. So another way we can trigger these emotes is using a simple animation event. So let's select our character. We'll come up to window and we will launch animation. Okay, so we need to create an animation and we will call this emote event. And let's add a property. Uh, we're on, um, let's just use the modification script here. And at, zoom this out a little bit, at uh, right about at one and a half seconds. We'll add an event, we'll select this, and we'll do surprise for three seconds. And then at, uh, that'll give us like four and a half seconds. So let's come out to over five seconds. Let's add another one. And we'll call that frown, do that for two seconds. And that's really all there is to it. Let's stop recording. Let's close this. There's our surprise. There's our frown. And then it'll just keep looping through that animation. Okay, and that was a demonstration of a couple of methods you can use to fire off emotes in Randomize. Of course, you can always use something like Cinema Director, Cinema Sequencer Slate, Playmaker, pretty much any method that you can fire off a function or method. Well, I hope that was helpful. Join us next time, and as always, we look forward to seeing what you create.